Hey guys, here's a quick lesson for you on learning and playing melodies. This month in the Better Stack studio, we're working on the tune All of Me, and I'm always telling my students to learn melodies from the recordings. And learn them from sheet music. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you'd rather sound more like the musicians on the records and less like someone who's reading down the same exact real book lead sheet that everyone has played for the last 50 plus years, you're going to want to try this. This version is Sonny Stitt playing with Jack McDuff on the organ, and it's a great example of how to play the melody to a jazz standard. Let's go over some of the reasons why and what you can learn from it. The first thing I want to show you, though, is my method for transcribing or learning stuff by ear using YouTube. Besides having an unimaginably vast library of recordings, YouTube has some cool tools that make transcribing a lot easier. Number one is pressing the back arrow on your keyboard or double clicking to the left side of the video. That automatically rewinds by five seconds. This is a great way to loop a section of a song to play along with or listen to over and over again. Number two is slowing down the audio without changing the pitch. You can set any YouTube video to 75% playback speed and it won't distort the audio all that much. But if the thing you're trying to transcribe is really fast, you can go down to 50% playback speed. Set the YouTube playback speed by clicking the gear icon or hitting the less than symbol on your keyboard. Now let's check out this eight bar intro that Sonny Stitt plays on all of me. In that eight bar intro, he plays the melody basically note for note and then adds this flashy run at the end. That flashy run is nothing more than a concert B flat scale C on tenor saxophone starting on the third and going up an octave. It sounds impressive, but it's actually very easy to play. Anybody can do it. The next eight bars is more of the same thing. You've got all the melody notes there, but a couple of choice tasty fills makes it sound more like Sonny Stitt. That right there is a classic Sonny Stitt embellishment. The actual melody there is, how can I? But he embellishes it with, do, 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 how can I? Again, this sounds impressive, but it's easy to execute. Now back to the melody with a laid back feel, and he ends the phrase with a very simple melodic fill. If you're new to transcribing, I recommend learning some melodies that you are already familiar with in this way. Choose a recording that is at a slow or medium tempo and learn to play the melody exactly the way you hear it. Transcribing is the single most effective thing you can do to improve your musicianship. Everyone can do this. It's not as difficult as you may think and you cannot learn to improvise or even phrase melodies effectively without practicing this a fair amount. Up to there, it's pretty much note for note the melody with an embellished melodic rhythm. You don't need to know how to write out or even read that rhythm though. Just listen over and over again and play along with the recording until you can match what you're hearing. That phrase is really the first time he departs from the original melody a little bit with a new melodic idea. Then he repeats that melodic idea and turns it into this double time fill. Again, 
Sounds really impressive, right? Here's what that line looks like on paper. It lays really well on the tenor saxophone, meaning it's quite easy to play. Anybody can learn to play online like that. In those first 24 bars of this recording, there is so much to learn. The members of the Better Sax Studio are learning how to play the melody this way, as well as how to improvise over the chord changes. Each month there are new video lessons, exercises, downloads, and assignments designed to optimize the learning process and speed up overall progress. The best part is when our members record themselves playing the assignments and then get video feedback from me where I can tell them exactly what they need to work on to improve. So if you enjoy this way of learning and would like to benefit from my teaching as well as personalized feedback on your playing, just like in a live lesson, I invite you to join the Better Sax Studio. I put a link in the description where you can learn more. Um.